How you doing, man? Very swell, thanks. Very swell. I had a good sleep. Thank you. Morning, Sergeant. Morning, Sergeant. Do you have a good sleep, man? What do you do? Morning. I gotta clean my lens off now. It is another new day, and the vlogs are back on track. We're now using this Canon Power Shot once again as my Sony Handycam. Uh, well, that's what's left of it. There were no survivors. No footage, no nothing could be pulled off of it. So, I got driven over. Left it on my step again. Not good, not good. So it fell off the step and another truck ran it over. Thanks, whoever that was. But anyway, so we are here at Irving, just inside the Quebec border from New Brunswick. We're gonna be getting to Guelph, Ontario tonight, I believe. Uh, we gotta drop this trailer there, pick up another trailer in Mississauga, and that trailer is taking us home. 10-4, that's right. Without further ado, let's get this day on the road. I need some fuel first. All right, guys, you ready for this? We got our fuel. We're ready to roll and rock. Come hey, on. Wait, 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 wait. One second. There's no one behind us. I forgot to get my drink out of the fridge. One second. Excuse me. Pardon me, boys. You see me trying to get in here? Yeah, there you go. There you are. There you are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're ready. Let's buckle ourselves back in. Always wear your seatbelt, children. Always obey the law. All right. Now we can go. I'm gonna just leave that in there. Lights on for safety. Not so that you can see, but so that people can see you. So on a sunny day like this, I don't think it's really necessary, but you never know. If it is overcast, and especially if it's raining, you should always have your lights on so that other people can see you. So we're in Saint Antoine, Quebec, or Saint Anton, or Saint something. We are just above New Brunswick, so we've got to go all the way through Quebec into Ontario. So it will be a day of Quebec. That's okay. Actually, half a day of Quebec, half a day of Ontario, whatever. You'll see. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's kick it into overdrive here. We're at the Irving here at uh, exit 143, I think, in Quebec. I was close to Montreal. Stopped here to have some Saint Hubert, some food. That's the restaurant in there, Saint Hubert Express. And I got myself uh, a club burger. It's upside down, I know. Fries and whatnot. And 
Also bought some Febreze while I was in there. Because <laughs> it smells like a dog in here. Yeah, I know, it's probably me. That reminds me of a joke. <laughs> it's actually by Jeff Dunham. Oh, uh, he was talking to an old guy, one of his old colleagues, his little puppet, right? His old guy, he says, Hey, you're so old, how do you keep things fresh in the bedroom? Looks at him. Febreze? Montreal? Montreal. I shouldn't even have to say what city I'm in. You can just look at the traffic situation and... You would come to the conclusion he must be in Montreal. Yeah. You would be correct. So we just turned off Auto Road 20. And we're on Auto Road 30 right now, going around the south side of Montreal. This is supposed to be the quicker perimeter, but apparently everybody got the same memo. Take the 30, it's faster! Yeah, except it's not as fast if we all take it. Some of you still gotta take the old route. Finally got through the mess that's Montreal. Wow. That was a lot of traffic for no apparent reason. No construction, no accidents. This is Montreal, that's all. And we are going very slow in the center lane. Yes, we're still in Montreal. Confirmed. I don't understand that about Quebec, I just don't get it. A huge number of people drive slow in the passing lanes. Uh, that does not make sense to me. Like, it's just abnormally high numbers of people in Quebec that do that. I've noticed this every time I drive through here, so I'm not just making this up. Like this guy too. What are you doing driving so slow? I'm not even doing the speed limit. Oh, and he just about hit me. Apparently the lane wasn't big enough for him. He almost sandwiched me into the, the barrier there as I was passing him. Wow. Anyways, other than that, it's been uh, it's actually been a really good day. I feel really good about it. All of you Mustang fans are gonna love this. Right here on the right. Looks like he's got European plates on it. What? Weird special plates. That is an old Mustang. Driving it in the rain. Look at this sky, eh? We're a couple of hours from Toronto. Sky is just all orange and what nice sunset going on off to the right there. You can't quite see it, but it's interesting because the sun is shining up onto the bottom of the clouds right now. The SUV was so kind to pull in front of us and spray us like that, so it ruins our view. But look at that. Wonderful colors. Can't quite beat that. Best part of the job. Look at you. <laughs> give her, give her, give her, give her. Come here. Don't go back there, man. I just called you away from there. Oh, no, sorry, man. Yeah, sorry, I forgot, man. He just smells really nice there. Ah. See if I can get him to come over here. Come on, do a bull by. Do a bull by. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh. Got distracted. Diesel, let him go. Diesel. 
he gets carried away. Come here! <laughs> I are so excited. Stay where I can see you, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Maybe I got this camera to work a little better at the night. Is it a little better now, or is it just me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we made it to Guelph. We made it to Guelph. We dropped our trailer, and now we're gonna wait here until the morning when we get our instructions. We gotta, we gotta go pick up another trailer over in Mississauga. And I'm tired, so I'm just gonna go to bed right here in Guelph. And I'm about 45 minutes to an hour away from where I gotta pick up the trailer, so I'll be up early tomorrow morning. Go pick that up, and that trailer is taking us home. Home to my quad, which is supposed to be ready by the time I get there. Also, the decal for the back window of my truck will be ready then as well. Two birds and one stone, getting them both done the same day. I got vet appointments for the boys. They gotta get just checked up and have a look-see and, you know, the usual, just check up and whatnot. I like to take care of them. Or pay someone to take care of them. Namely, the vet. They know what they're doing. I don't like to give my dogs needles myself. I'll let a professional do that. And I've also got a dentist appointment, but i got to reschedule it because the appointment's for the end of the week, and I'm going to be gone by the end of the week. I'm going to be home for the beginning, so i got to see if I can reschedule it. I'm going to brush my teeth because I'm like that. I'm just that kind of guy. And then I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Thanks for all the support. You guys have been great. Uh, you guys have always been so good to me. I think I've got the best audience on YouTube. I'm just saying, I'm just going to throw that out there. I, I'm not even trying to suck up to you guys right now. Like, i got no reason to suck up to you guys. I'm just saying, like, wow. I go on some other YouTubers' accounts, and I go into their comment sections. I'm like, wow, I really got a great audience. I'll see you tomorrow. Merca. Manitoba. You can't really see it, but there's Canada. Wait. Canada. <laughs> see you guys.